Hey everybody, it is Jason from the Texas Gun Vault 2, and I'm sorry about the weird camera angle. It has come to my attention that this Armada that I drive doesn't have any places really to put the camera or the phone when I record these Texas Gun Vault 2 videos. It just keeps falling over regardless of where I put it, so I'm putting it up in the uh, sunglass holder. It's the only place that I can have it point at me and be able to actually use it because if I hold it a lot of times you can hear me kind of like move the phone and I try to avoid all those different sounds but anyway just wanted to give a little channel update I know it's been a few days since I have made a video here on the Texas Gun Vault 2 um, I've just been super busy like always you guys know that uh, my schedule is kind of weird and sometimes I just get behind. Um, I've had a couple releases so far on the main channel and over on Rumble. And by the way, Rumble for a while will have a new release every single day because I'm going through my old library and all of my older videos and I just have them set. So anytime I release a video on the Texas Gun Vault, I have it usually set to release at like 2 or 3 o'clock p.m., uh, Central Standard Time, but I always release the Rumble at like 8 a.m. in the morning and for the same video. But on the days that I don't have an upload to the Texas Gun Vault, I have an old video from my channel. It could be a range report, it could be a product review, it could be something else. So um, I'm really trying to build out the content over there um, and have a lot of videos. And I got to say, last night it was really refreshing because uh, the CEO of Rumble was on Tim Pool's show, and he was talking about all the things they're doing over on Rumble and how to ensure that it is going to be a free speech platform and be a competitor to YouTube. And he was talking about some of the internal numbers and the advertisers they're getting and what they're doing to grow the infrastructure, which is what they said that they... Um, we're really trying to focus on right now because that's one of the things that they're lagging behind YouTube because when you upload to YouTube these videos can be almost instantaneous um, the infrastructure of YouTube is phenomenal uh, but when it comes to rumble you have to upload it it takes a while to process it's slower to upload it takes longer for their algorithms or whatever AI goes through the video to make sure it's monetizable um, but they're working on it and it's really cool that they have gone public. They have public investors. You can go online and buy stock in, I think it's like, I think it's CFVI or CVFI. Anyway, it's one, I have to look it up, but uh, that's the stock ticker for the investment group that now owns Rumble. <clears throat> so um, they're publicly traded. Um, and anyway, I'm, I'm real happy with how things are going over there. I want to say I'm getting close to 100 subscribers. It's unbelievable. Um, people are commenting on my things every day. And I will say what uh, something else, too, about Rumble that they need to do is they need to have a creator app like YouTube does. You know, so here on YouTube, I can have an app that I can just look at the comments. I can look at my content. I can look at the status of everything, the analytics. Rumble doesn't have that. So when people comment on my videos, especially the older Rumble videos, um, I have to manually go find them. Like, I have to go find the video and reply to the comment directly. There's not, like, a place I can go and look at the studio and say, okay, here's all the recent comments on all of your videos. It's not compiled that way. So it takes me a little bit longer. But, man, oh, man, after that interview with the CEO of Rumble, I'm feeling better and better about it. Uh, they're really growing, and I didn't know about how many people, big-time content creators, have started channels over there um, and what they're doing. And so a lot of the concerns that he's echoed, or a lot of the concerns that I have, about making a competitive platform to YouTube and bringing over um, these content creators and advertisers. And I really do feel like they're taking a step in the right direction. Something else he said is that they're moving to Florida. Right now, they're based in Canada, so they deal with some of the Canadian laws, but they're moving to Florida, which is awesome and incredible because I think they're going to have even more corporate freedom um, without having to worry about censorship and governments coming in and telling them what to do because that's one of the concerns there in Canada. 
So anyway, uh, Rumble's growing. I'm really happy. So if you still aren't subscribed over there or haven't checked out Rumble, go do it. I, I'm not telling you that Rumble is better than YouTube because right now it's not, okay? Um, it has fewer content creators. Um, I have to say that the interaction between the content creators and the comments isn't as good because they don't have a compiled, you know, creator studio. I've already talked about that. Um, but I will say their live streaming capability is really good. I haven't tried to live stream over there, uh, but I know other people have. It seems to be really good. Um, they're building an advertising base. They're building uh, the infrastructure. I definitely think that they're well on their way. I would say right now they're, I don't know, 5 to 10% of what YouTube is and can handle. <clears throat> but I think that as more creators go over there now that they got all this and money coming in from investment uh their stock price is up which means investors are feeling good about it which i like um i really do feel like rumble's going to be the place to go and if you're on apple or if you're on android there is an app for rumble as well and i've actually found that i go and support a lot of the mainly the political commentators you guys that's what i mainly watch on rumble because that's the main focus, I guess, because they're the free speech platform. The people making the how-to videos on bartending or um, mechanics or whatever the other generic videos you'll find on YouTube are, they really haven't migrated over because they haven't been affected. But the content creators, like the, the politics, um, the gun stuff, it's all moving over there. And it's mirroring what's happening on YouTube. It's like having a second economy that's just rising. And I think over time, as the platform gets bigger and there's more money to be made over there, I think you'll see more generic content creators move over. But man, I really feel like they're the ones that are really going to be the real competitor. So anyway, just want to give you an update on Rumble, how Rumble's doing. Uh, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. I mean, I haven't made any money over there or anything, but I feel like my subscriber base is growing. Um, my numbers are getting better there all the time. There's people over there that have different names and they do on YouTube. So I don't know if they're crossovers from YouTube or just people that found me on Rumble. But uh, I'm also able to post videos over there that I can't post here on YouTube, such as field strips of guns. You know, so a lot of times when I review a gun, on the main channel, I also am going to create a field stripping video showing you how to take it apart, put it back together, which I can't do here on YouTube. I guess I can, but it always gets demonetized. It always gets age restricted. And that was one of the problems I had with demonetization with older videos. But Rumble, they don't care. They're like, hey, you're doing something legal. It's completely fine. Uh, you're showing people how to properly maintain their firearm. There's no violence in the video. There's nothing. It's perfectly fine. And I am very appreciative of that. So there are going to be, as I said, like Rumble exclusive videos just because there's videos I can't post here on YouTube. So anyway, I know this video is getting a little bit rambly, but I want to give you guys an update on Rumble, how the Texas Gun Vault is doing over there. Um, so anyway, that's it. So are you guys enjoying your Rumble experience? If you're over there, I know that I am. Uh, as I said at night, when it comes to watching all the political videos, I go to Rumble first. I watch them there. All my other stuff, like my science videos that I like, like to watch, or my video gaming stuff that I like to watch, all that's still just on YouTube. But um, all my news and commentary stuff, it's all over on Rumble now, because that's the people that I watch. I know that my viewership of them is helping them uh, earn money, and it's helping Rumble, it's helping those content creators, and it's keeping money away from YouTube and watch time. As I said, they haven't usurped YouTube. They, they can't do everything YouTube can do, but I definitely think they're well on their way. And I think with this momentum, I think you're going to see within three or four years, maybe five, I think you're going to see them be at about 50% capacity of what YouTube can do. And once they become a real competitor to YouTube when it comes to taking money and advertisers away from, from YouTube. I think that's when you're going to see the war happen where the big alphabet company is going to try to shut them down, you know, and whatever. But 
they're doing it the right way where they're not relying on things like the Amazon Web Services, which was Parler's problem. You guys know that when Parler, which was supposed to be like the conservative version of Twitter, came out, they were hosted on Amazon, Amazon Web Services. <clears throat> and of course, we know Amazon is not Second Amendment friendly. It's not First Amendment friendly. And so last year, they just got the platform and go, we're not going to host you anymore to shut down the whole thing. Now, Parler's back up. But Rumble is making sure that they're not going to fall victim to that so that they're going to have their own infrastructure. So anyway, that's it. That's what's going on uh, over on Rumble. Go check me out over there. Um, watch me on both channels is what I do. Uh, <laughs> so I'll upload to both. Um, but you can catch some content on YouTube, some content on Rumble, and there you go. So, all right, so I know this has been kind of a rambly video. So that's what's going on with Rumble and the Texas Gun Vault Rumble update. So let me know if you have any questions. And as always, thanks for watching.